Hello friends, uh, welcome to this uh, next episode of 369 forecast. In this section we are going to demonstrate the power of reflective angles without squaring the charts. If you know the secret of 369 reflections, you can pretty much pick all the pivots endpoints effectively. At the bottom we have 33 minute chart on which we have placed the RSI on balance volume indicator. We will look at that a little later. So I'm going to squeeze it down. Now this is happening every day, right? Market is moving this way, that way. So what can we do to just pure pattern based trading? to locate these points effectively. These points, these points, intraday points, right? All these points, how can we detect without any oscillator, without any indicator, just pure reflection principle. What we have done is we have qualified mathematically what the pivots are using the zigzag indicator, which is free in every platform. So you can see here we have zigzag points and I am retracing nine points. This is ES chart, lost on change. So, and I'm using this on a five minute chart. You can do it on 30 minutes, one hour, four hours daily. It doesn't matter, uh, but works very well five minutes or higher because you want to catch some days high or low or bigger swings. We are here to make money. On daily basis right it is not about overbought or sold oscillator it's not about tactical trading first of all you need to know at which point you want to make money invest money take some risk all right so you've seen this is pure play now I have modified this tool. As you can see here, this is not a square. See this is rectangle one, rectangle two, rectangle three, rectangle four. It is not really a square. And chart is also not squared. We don't even need that for a smaller intraday time frame, right? We just need the reflection principle you can see here for our purpose. Now this line here, dotted line on which I can grab and move things, this is your half midpoint. And on each side we have reflectors. So this angle for these two, right, angles are same. Angle for yellow lines are same, angle for between yellow and white is same, angle between this dotted line and white is same. That's all there is, and so, so, so forth and so, so on, right here. Okay, so we have kept the reflection on each side of this main center line the same. What those angles are, now that is part of the Wall Street magic which public doesn't know and uh, we can't really explain that in public if you are smart enough you can figure it out but the idea is to get the principles aligned right you may come with better ideas on your own I'm teaching you how to think and how to effectively research and how to effectively uh, become a trader All right, so let's remove all this. This all. So when I talk about, I'm reflecting the red line, reflecting white on white, red on red, center on white. Uh, so you know what those mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these pivots. Slope. See the slopes. Slopes, right? Right here, slopes. I'm going to curve it 
the data either from a given pivot so I'll take a pivot like this as I will show you and I'm gonna go backwards or forwards so I can use this backward sloping line and I'll curve it the lines to detect where the market is going next and this is gonna be pullbacks right and I might use this pivot as well and I can do two things here I can either go the prior pivot line slope or the future pivot line slope and what you're gonna see is since I'm gonna curve with these angles the next level of angles are going to predict our next highs and lows all right the simple as that so once you see some examples day by day we'll go back one week I can pick any day, any week, it doesn't matter because laws don't change. So let's remove all these uh, drawings here. All right, so let's look at this day and let's apply the principles. So I'm going to use top to predict the tops and bottom to predict the bottoms all right let's remember that so if i want to see where market can go i'm going to use the top and as i said if i'm using this pivot or i'm using this pivot i have two options either i use the slope on the left of this pivot or i use the slope on the right of the pivot to predict the future scenarios and i will draw these lines let's say market is here and it's just moving moving i know right so i got this slope and it's going here up i want to see where how far can it pull will it go here will it go here will it go here where it's gonna go so this is the entire logic of the situation and you can see here what i'm going to reflect on is what i'm expecting market to go and reflect on on the right side so here what I have I have done I've taken this pivot I've taken the prior slope curve fitted the data using this purple line what am I expecting I'm expecting this reflection of this line right here this reflection is going to be met right there so let the market pull back to that level right here it comes and that is your shorting probability area you can use oscillators you can use rsi those things don't work unless you use higher time frame multi time frame as i explained and divergence is the only way uh, to make these guys work now we have, we have this very sophisticated approach to the geometry of the market where we should be trading all right so you, let's see because we don't know market is going to go there or not it's going here it went here it came down and got blah 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 right it eventually went here at uh, 11 ish right and stopped here came down now you can see why market goes and stops it's not double top it's not double bottom it's not any pattern this is the law of 369 reflection and unless you have worked on wall street you do not know most of them also don't know so what has happened here we used this pivot and we were able to pick this area right we saw that so just keep it that way and if you get lucky and you are able to trade effectively you got 20 points 25 points plus you get 20 points 20 points with five contracts is five grand right there in one hour you're done for the day and this is how we make five to twenty thousand dollars a day 
Uh, some people make a lot more than that. I was not able to go beyond that because of what I was trading and how I was trading. But uh, this is how it goes, right? Okay. All right. It's better than nothing that you have no clue this point exists. But here we know based on just this simple rhythm, we know. And chart is not required to be squared. Nothing else. All right. So you saw this principle. How about this guy? And how about this guy? Well, top predicts the top, bottom predicts the bottom. And the laws are pretty same. Either I will use this from this pivot left line or the right line. It can't get simpler than this. And I cannot tell you that which one is going to work either. Right? I have to just curve fit my lines. So I one with practice and with the market behavior, you will know if market is slanting slowly, I will try to use the wider angles, right? Because it's slowly moving. If it is slanting very high, it's moving moved very fast in a short period of time, it's, right? So in that case, I will use close by angles, which I think you will know through uh, practice and uh, realizing that the power of what I'm just trying to show you. And then the crude oil works differently than YM, then QQQ, but the principle and the tool will not change. Uh, which reflection you may want to curve it uh, based on how fast it drops or goes sideways. That's the only thing you need to uh, cross check and you can just see it. All right. So now what we have done, we have taken this point at the bottom. And I've curved it the red line and I'm hoping that market is going to come back to this red line and it's going to give me some opportunity to make some money. I don't know this. This is after the fact, but, and I know this, I know this line. Red line is already giving you what it needs to give you. I do this and I leave the thing alone. Market comes here, I make my decisions. You want to go long or short, right? You can add oscillators, you can add things of interest <coughs> after the structure has given you the information you need. Now this huge day is done beautifully. How about uh, this high? How did we not predict this high? Well, we never tried. So let's try this. We can try this, right? So well, let's try this. As the pivots are going on, I'm just creating these lines. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll wait for market. I'll use volume. I'll use other scenarios. Divergences. Uh, sophisticated approach to entering the market. Right? I can use simply use options also. Yeah, SPY. 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 Right? SPY. If you just... Now again market has to be open. You can trade stocks. ES future options are there as well. If you're worried about stop losses. And you can also refine the entries and uh, using uh, order flow. Order flow is after the fact. Once you get here, then you can see how order flow is shifting or not. Order flow cannot predict the prints in advance. Right? Now we are printing this for the entire day. The whole portfolio of structure was built just by two pivots. And there's no order flow at this point but you can see order flow comes at these points and they react the way we expect them to react which you can see as a confirmation tool and to have a very tight stop losses but order flow had no clue that these points exist but well, that is after the fact something else is vibrating in the market which i'm showing you and that is the key all right so let's try to do something like this i, I, I told you i only have two <laughs> two rules to follow Either I go to the left or I go to the right, right? Now, as I told you, when the market is, how about this eye, right? That's fine. If I, you, now, with practice, I know, and with observation, since I am an inventor of all these tools, right? So, I know how things work and behave. And I also can tell you, when the market is dropping like this super fast, I will like to use the center line, this line which I am holding. This center line halfway point this is the rule right so the only challenge you have to worry about in the market you're trading is which line to use on the left side 
and the right side. That's all you have to worry about. And I can tell you one rule I just gave you. Market is dropping like this very fast. I will like to use things differently. Right? Right here. So I gave you the rules. And I will try this on the last few, few days and then we can be done. Now we're doing this. What I... What do I have? Top predicts the top. I'm not concerned about the other ones, right? Top predicts the top, bottom, the bottom. So I have this line and I have this line. And I drop the tool. So I have clear, I'm not confused with anything else and my mind is not playing games while trading is going on. So this got connected with this. This is how beautiful this tool is and the tool is hidden from the market because you can see no one can predict all the pivots like this can right how much is it worth that's why wall street doesn't want to come on the market for pennies <laughs> dealing with billions right so but i'm giving you the laws which you can work now when market gets here you don't know it's gonna blow to the next level high this level Way up here, it could, if the news is coming or the momentum is high, right? We don't know. When it gets here, I need to observe order flow, oscillators and volumes. Not that becomes a tactical trading. Or if I want to invest $5,000, I'll invest $2,000 here and $3,000 here, right? Options. Uh, that's why we don't lose money. Every day we make money. Well, we have tactics applied at a very critical level and we know these levels and we don't panic at any level so now if you wanted to use some volume confirmation this is a 33 minute chart on which we have placed the rsi adjusted volume it's over bought oversold levels you can check right over bought oversold but as you can see here right we have better oscillators than this also that is not but if you want confirmation everything to line up this was the one trade you had to take that's it order flow you can check what's going on right and you get 7 60 50 points it's a waiting game all right so let's suppress this. You don't want to say, okay, hey, we are cheating this. I don't want you to see anything. You don't need to see anything. You don't need to know anything. In fact, these angles also, we don't need tools. We can just draw by lines. You have to uh, increase your capability level slowly. Again, the rule says, low predicts the low, high predicts the high. All right, this day, let's use these pivots and slope on the left, slope on the right higher the slope that means faster it moves faster it reach, reaches something then it we want to use middle angles right so closer angles that's better way of saying it first we will start with this this guy purple and i will draw the line there purple to purple so this purple line is curve fitted on this all right so purple is going to reflect here that's purple Simple. And we don't know what's going to happen. No one knows. But when we get to the line, then we watch the order flow. Then we watch our supporting systems. You can put VWAP, you can do hundreds of things, right? But a structure is done first. So once that is done, we wait for this system to come together. And it comes together right here. Top predicts the top, bottom predicts the bottom. So you know exactly what's going on. Now you can have other opportunities of interest to filter. Okay, how about top to top? We can use this one. Use this one, use this one. You can use this one, this one, this one, right? You can use this one, to bottom to bottom, top to top. All right, so let's use this one. We go to the left or we go to the right. Nothing else we do. 
and actually I do have multiple lines. So red is the uh, red is the last line of defense, <laughs> right? I can't do anything much more than left, but there's no line on the left. Maximum extension is going to be red. So I curve it in my line on the red, and I'm interested in red to red, purple to cyan to cyan, white to white, and there it is. And we don't know what's going to happen at this point. We know that by using this law. That if this comes, it comes like this, right? It came. It came. All of them are connected. The only thing you have to worry about and know about the market is which line to use at what point. Extreme extensions, right? And then there's an the inner pullback theory also, which talks about white reflect as again, red on red, purple on purple, white on white. Right now, I've just shown you red here, purple here, right? <coughs> Every pivot is known. So, if I go with the max stretch on the red, this one, I'm expecting if it comes and my order flow supports it, when it comes to this point, right? And this auto flow guys have no clue. They are way behind the curve. Only thing we know, and now this is just one model. We have 100 model like these, which predicts super pivots like these. They can also time every pivot also. We can time every turn also, right? But starting building a base, divergences on the indicators work. That's the only thing you want to use. Do not use something else. This is all fake news, long term. Kelly's criteria is going to destroy your account. Remember that. Okay, how about this guy? I don't know. Well, this one looks like a very strong peak. So I'm gonna use my peak principle where I'm going to. Uh, so now if, <laughs> sometimes the peaks are so strong high up right this is almost 90 degrees this one is almost like 85 degrees so it's very if i put this on everything will collapse right it's not going to happen so i'm going to open it up to white line or other blue uh, other lines so let's draw those other lines now you may not understand and the only confusion you will have which one to use right which one to use so i don't know if i use purple Purple is here, it never came to purple. This is a good example to put it on. Right, purple is here, if it comes here. Okay, how about the red one? Red one comes here, is even far away. And we know the market is not gonna drop 300 points. It does once a while, not every day. So this is how you can also do rejections. Okay, this is too far. This You can just draw these lines and you can color them correctly too. So here I can change this line color and say, uh, so you know which line is it's representing and given a point, right? So when I draw this tool and remove this line, I know, okay, this guy, from this low to low, this is the red one reflection. Now we can say, okay, how about this guy? Now this is going to be, this reflection, right? So we know, so we can also track the colors. And now we know logically speaking, but mine works in colors and pictures, not in words. And then, okay, that is two possibilities. Now this is very strong up, Let's follow the rules of ES. How about, we have been using the left side so far, right? How about the right side? So left side, we can use two colors, as you can see, right side, we can use white. White is the starting point for using on the right side. But this is 90 degrees, and on the right vertically straight up is this box. 
left of this box are two lines right of this box is white yellow yellow all right so the fastest way up vertical is white line and i'm going to draw vertical y line and I will remove this and I will change the color. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and this is going to be white. So here we go. I have my structure put in place. Market is here. I have the structure put in place here. Now this is a vertical. I'm going to use something on to the right side of the vertical line which is white line the closest it moves the fast and there it is right so i have draw three lines market i will be interested in doing a retest of this if it doesn't i will start looking at the option i trade mostly options so i'll start looking at the options here right if i'm going to use 10 contracts i will use five here i will add three two three here i'll add two three more here that's it if it keeps going then i take my loss if not Mostly, I don't take loss at all every day. I'm not seeing a losing day unless I'm in a bad mood, bored, want to force a trade, <laughs> like any other habits everybody else has, right? Strict discipline is the key. So now you can see the structure is uh, strong, very strong. And how about uh, this guy? How about this one, right? So you got the idea. The same thing is going to happen. You can. This is how you're going to predict all the pivots. Now there are days like these. In news days, I would say, uh, be careful, right? Stay away from those days. Now we've been watching on the. Again, you should be uh, watching on the days high or low. That's all you need to do. Pick days high or days low. Nothing to do with any technology. You know, the market itself is telling you. All the hundred models we have for forecasting time and price, it uses this structure only. That's it. We'll use first impulse, tell you what's going to happen all day long. We'll use the first impulse for the price, first impulse for the time. And then you can use astrophysics. And then nothing much. We can talk about this later as time goes on. But for now, basic first stage structure so what we can do red is the maximum i can left on this curve i fit it i look for the red and there we go if i pick this up correctly at afternoon i don't need to worry about anything else i'm done for the day and i draw this line like this there we go and i remove this Oops. Right. You don't know where the line is coming from. Market is here. <laughs> Nobody knows. Boom. It goes there. Reflects it. Right. Reflection. Uh, this is a true reflection principle. True. Ultimate reflection principle. Right now, I'm just demonstrating that to you. I'm giving the laws also. I'm not giving you the angles. That's for private seminar only. All right. So there we go. How about this guy? How about this guy? Again, we can use this pivot. Let's see how things will play out. You can use this pivot. Let's see how things will play out, right? You can use this pivot. So higher to high, low to low. All right, I think I've spoken enough. We have seen enough as well. Maximum stretch, red, reflects on red. You can just see it here. This is the red curve fit, precisely hitting the curve, red on red. All right, gentlemen and ladies, seeking great profit, you know what you can achieve in life, knowledge-wise. Simple. How much effort it took to learn this? Nothing. What you don't know is the magic of 369 forecast. We will uh, discuss this further. later in the later videos so people are struggling to find those daily highs and lows so just to summarize so far divergence 
on any indicator with two multiple time frames one hour or higher that's higher time frame four hours for one hour and that can be used for momentum or volume and then we adjust either we use divergences or we use pullbacks into the higher time frame now this takes it to the next level because again all these things are reactive how market is behaving indicators are falling along but no one is telling you that this secret is sitting there or this is sitting there no one knows that every pivot can be predicted now the good thing is if you are trading here look at the oscillator volume <laughs> right this one did not tell you that but this one yeah okay i want to go short it's fine you can go short but here right the real reason why so order flow will not tell you this order is flowing here it will not tell you what's going to happen here it's not going to tell you what's going to happen here we know 